So I live in LA, um, in Santa Monica. I'm looking out the window. It's a, a bright blue sky. I, you know, I rarely um, am outside laying in the sun. In my, a few times I may go and, and lie in the sun for 15, 20 minutes if I'm just want to think about something and it's a beautiful day and I warm my skin and so forth and so on. Um, but I'm just typically walking around, um, you know, and I'm outside, I don't know, maybe a total of an hour in the day, typically getting to my car or walking to get a cup of coffee or something like that. Maybe it's half an hour. Should I be thinking about um, a sunscreen all the time, every day, even if I'm not, you know, sunbathing? So there is a lot of discussion about that. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the, you know, the type of person that would wear sunscreen, uh, sunscreen every day. I work by the window, so I know that I'm going to get a lot of sunlight. Uh, OS1 is already protecting, but if you can add an additional layer that, again, it's safe, it's not going to cause any uh, damage to your skin, I would add that. If you are going outside, in any case that you are going to get sunburn, that's like when you must wear sunscreen. So sunburn is obviously the main thing that we should avoid. It can, uh, you know, increase the chances of skin cancer. That's when you're really causing redness, inflammation. So it's really clearly that's bad for you. Um, I I like, you know, to protect as much as possible. So I will, I will use at least like a face uh, SPF. Uh, in, in our case, we, we select the mineral one, the zinc oxide, because it tends to be safer to any skin type. Some of the chemicals, they can have some endocrine disruptors. So there is a little bit of, you know, discussion there. Uh, but obviously, if you're out there, if you only have one option, and if you're going to get some burn, I would use a chemical sunscreen as well. But um, I would say on a ba daily basis, it's a good habit to add sunscreen. And a lot of people, you know, you know think about the vitamin D production and how this could impact. Um, if you are staying the, in the sun for a long period, the, the sunscreen should not, you know, completely eliminate your ability to produce vitamin D. So you mm -hmm. still can get your vitamin D production wearing sunscreen. Assuming that you have some skin exposure, obviously some people cover themselves so much that in that case, it's a little more challenging, but you can still get from your diet or supplements and so on. Uh, so I'm a sunscreen proponent on the more on the mineral side, uh, at least, uh, yeah, uh, when I know that uh, I'll be directly exposed, uh, even like by the window or driving, we get a lot on our hands. If you drive a lot, that's one area that we forget. And usually mm -hmm. later on, we're going to see that it really causes the damage. That's an interesting point, right? I mean, uh, uh, I feel my face is pretty good, but... Adding a little sunscreen to my hands, uh, for sure, that makes that makes sense.